what is going on you guys it is track outlaws and today I have a haul I got actually a couple packages from eBay that I weren't wasn't expecting until Saturday which I got today which is awesome and I also went to Meyer and they had a sale on Hot Wheels it was buy three get one free so I got a bunch of them and I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, walk through here I did get some duplicates in the mail though so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna open those because I'm gonna put those what I'm gonna call a quote-unquote dealership and if people wanna either like maybe trade them or for something because I know some people collect different things so I'll put that up I'll probably make like a web page or something that has images of all the cars in our current dealership and um, yeah but I'll get more information on that later so for now I'm gonna start with my eBay finds I just did, um, I actually did a lot of Mass Deal this time. I didn't get Hot Wheels because I, Mass Deal has some cool, like, looking models. Um, so I figured I'd just start collecting some of those. Oh, yeah, anyways, um, the first one I got is a fresh metal Mass Deal car. It is the Audi TT uh, convertible, which looks pretty cool. Although, I don't like how it is slammed to the ground like that. I think I, I don't, that's one key thing I don't like about it because in real life it's not like that. But let's go ahead and crack it open and see. Oh, that was bad. I hate that when you open it and then you have to like do it again because there we go, that little tab there. Ah, that was a bad open. Alright. So yeah, as you can see, yep, that is the Audi CT. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the track here and we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on that. Alright, so we can get that in focus. So yeah, I think um I don't think this is gonna be a very fast one for the track to be honest. It's um it's just so low to the ground that they made it almost like a low rider. But that's okay. It's still not too bad for all the Audi fans out there. Alright. The next one I got is awesome. It is an XL R8 Racers collection. It is the Lamborghini actually which one is this? I feel really dumb. I don't even know which Lambo this is. There's so many of them. Uh, it doesn't even say, honestly, but it's a Lambo, if you guys know. I think it's the Aventador. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but, oh, sorry, I resumed in still. But yeah, I think this is the Aventador. Aventador. Or actually, right here, it'll say. Um, Mastio does really good about labeling their cars. Yep, it is the Aventador. Ooh, brownie points for me. Let's go ahead and crack this one open. Uh, this is like, oh, they they got these side tape things on here. Ooh, nice. This car is light. This thing might fly down the track. I like it a lot. It looks really sweet. Now, granted, this track is on its side, so it's going to hit the wall, but... Yeah, that is a nice-looking Lambo. And I that's probably my favorite cars to collect in Hot Wheels is definitely supercars. Now I'm not talking like the supercars like from Hot Wheels and stuff. I'm talking like legitimate real life supercars like Lamborghinis, Koenigseggs, GTRs, stuff like that. All those sweet cars you don't see every day. So yep, that is the Lamborghini. So those are the two random finds I found on eBay. Um, but then I got a huge collection of Motorworks. It was just a, a giant lot of cars, a bunch of random ones, and I got some duplicates. So we're gonna go ahead and go through those real quick. All right, first one I got is the Corvette ZR1 convertible. Classic, limited edition. All these ones I got are limited editions, and um, they, oops, yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, they're a little bit more old school. Not a lot of new cars, a lot of these are older looking, which is kinda cool. All right, so this is that convertible Corvette ZR1. A lot different than the new ZR1 that just came out. This looks pretty sweet. Got the Corvette symbol on the front there. It's pretty cool. All right. Next up, we got the disposal truck. And from the looks of it, it looks like the back actually opens. Um, let's see. Um, yep, the back actually opens. That's kind of cool. It's got a little like crusher thing back there. Huh. So yeah, the back does open. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, I think there's actually a guy on Instagram who is like just collects trash trucks. So I don't know if he thinks this is cool or not. 
So the, the thing about Mastio though sometimes is their cars aren't very detailed like wheels and stuff like that if they're all the same. But I mean it's still kind of cool just to collect different brands of vehicles. So yeah that's the trash truck. Next one on our list is the Ford Eco Van. Econo Van sorry. And this is like the tropical edition looks like. I love tropical. It's my favorite. So yeah it's got some palm trees on the side. Some basic. That, that, that's a million dollar home right there. <laughs> so yeah, this is a basic little van. We'll see how she does on the track. I'm not even sure how Mastio will do on the six lane raceway. I'm just gonna have to try it out. Um, we'll probably do some more. I'm gonna, I have um, open race day three is coming up this week. Actually, probably gonna film it tonight. So that'll be up soon. It takes a while to edit it, but we will have that up shortly. All right, next up, this car got some shaking up really bad or it just got packaged wrong but it's a Jaguar XJ220 and it is upside down so let's go ahead and get her out of there because I don't think it wants to be upside down to package anymore oh hey you can't chew on that all right so here is the Jaguar with the really long sunroof pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of Jaguar, but this one isn't too bad. My dog's trying to eat this. There we go. So yeah, not too bad. Got the Jaguar in the back. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, next up we have the Porsche 911 Speedster. Number 50 in the collection. Hmm. I'm not a fan of the older Porsches either. I like the new Porsche. Like I'm definitely a new guy, like a new car fan. I'm not big on the uh, older cars, but you know it's not bad. And I like how all these cars have the emblems on the front. This has got the Porsche. It's pretty cool. I like. It. My dog is taking all the wrappers. I just, if I could just train them in the trash. All right, next one is the number 50, the limited edition number 58, the Ford Explorer. Um. <laughs> this looks like something out of like an old movie or something. The classical. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> there's a little old Ford Explorer for you. Decent. It says comment on the side there. So yeah, this isn't my favorite bundle of cars. I wouldn't say, but you know, there's some cool ones here and there. And I did say like I got some duplicates, so I'm not gonna show those ones right now. Um, but I'll talk to you later. Oh, I almost just opened it without even saying. This is the Buick LeSabre stock car, number 24. Hey, hey, don't chew up the wrappers, bro. My dog is like chewing up the wrappers and stuff. But yeah, looks like a classic stock car. It's kind of cool. This one's a, a Buick, Calif or uh, Carolina kid. So that's kind of cool. Hopefully he's as fast as he looks. Race cars are supposed to be fast. All right, next I got the uh, Lincoln Mark V2. This is number 59 in the collection of Motorworks. That was a clean open. That was clean. All right. Um, yeah. I'm not, this car is actually, honestly, I don't like this car that much. And it kind of sucks because I got a ton of them. So if you guys like this car, just tell me. Um, I'll be posting the dealership mainly on uh, Instagram. If you follow my Instagram at Track Outlaws, I'll have a lot of the cars on there. But yeah, some of the ones I don't want anymore, I'll probably put up for sale or trade for other ones that you guys might want. So like I said, you've got a lot of duplicates of that. Uh, another duplicate. All right, next we got the ambulance. Number 62 in the collection. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Alright, that's kind of cool. Here's your basic ambulance here. Nothing super, super special about it. It's kind of cool though. The door's open. Oh, the door's open. That's cool. 
Maybe when we have like official race days, not like just open race days, when we do like cool competitions, maybe we can set up like a little scene with ambulance and some tow trucks and stuff. Kind of cool. Dog is destroying that package. All right, the next one I got is the Lamborghini Diablo, which I actually my dad opened it because he wanted to look. Which unfortunately it doesn't fit on the track. Um, I got some duplicates though, but it it doesn't like it fits on this track, but not the six lane because the six lane has the higher bars up here. So it'll like it goes like it gets stuck and you have to put it like that. So this one won't be racing. Um, one likely we'll put it in some giveaways or if people want it for sale or trade it. I'll probably keep one just for a collection, but the rest of them, if anybody wants it, we'll probably give them away. It's kind of cool. Really wide though. All right, the next I got is the Trabant. I think that's how you say it. It's number 40 in the collection. It's like an old school little. Maybe we'll call it the old school smart car. I don't know, it looks like. Oh, wow. I love the paint on this car. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. But uh, here, let me try to do this. I'll blur out the background for you. But the paint is so sweet on this car. It is like a flat green. It's really cool. And I don't even like this brand of car. I just, the way they painted this is just awesome looking flat green love it so yeah that is a Trabant he actually seems like it's gonna be pretty fast too it's very standard weighted all right next is the Porsche 959 number 47 in the collection Dude, my dog is literally taking one package ripping it up and then grab another one all right seriously I just want to teach him to put it in the trash for me and then we'll be set or bring the car back that'd be really cool all right, yeah, I'm kind of worried. Oh no, this car's a lot skinnier than the Lamborghini. I was Lamborghini. This is another classic Porsche. Uh, it's not too bad. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So yeah, got that Porsche logo on the front. I really love the body kit on this car. It's got Porsche on the spoiler. I didn't even notice that till now. That's kind of cool. So all yellow light on the back some red lights in it so yeah i definitely like the body kit of this car it makes it that's what makes the look of the car and the fin on the back is kind of cool yeah that's the porsche as i drop it all right we're almost through with the motor works next i got the school bus number 60 in the collection let's go ahead and crack this one open So yep, here is the school bus, school district two. Pretty cool. Got the stop sign on there on the door. Doesn't do much for the people. <laughs> but yep, that is the school bus. All right, next up I've got the Ferrari 348 TS, number 55 in the collection. Another clean open. All right, this is um, this is different. It's got a black like stripe on the top. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a racing stripe or what. Oh, but it does have the Ferrari logo on the front, which is cool. Um, but yeah, doesn't look like a Ferrari to me. It looks more like a uh, I don't know, just it's not a Ferrari. If anything, it looks somewhat close to Testarossa, but that's only because of these side little indents there. That's only the only reason why. And I got a ton of those ones too. So if you guys are into Ferraris and collect them, hit me up because I got a ton of those in this one. Yeah, too many of them. All right, and the very last one. Oh, sorry, I lied. Oh, yeah, no, that's another duplicate. The very last one of the MotorWorks collection I got on eBay is the Ferrari F40, number 39 in the collection. This might be one of my favorite ones it looks like in this collection. Pretty cool looking. It's got a really nice casting. Let's check her out. It's sweet. It looks like an. Lo I, I love the boxy look. I just love the back of it. It's complete square. I, I'm not usually not big on cars like that, but it looks good on this Ferrari, I think. And of course, we've got the Ferrari logo on the front. This is a nice looking car. Hopefully, it's fast. 
Ferrari is supposed to be fast. All right, so that is all of the MotorWorks cars that I got, and that's not including all the du duplicates. Um, but then, I, like I said, I also went to Meyer um, today and got a ton of, well, not a ton, but a decent amount of Hot Wheels. So we're gonna go ahead and go through those. I don't really know what's good for collecting and what's not, because I'm new to the Hot Wheels, obviously. Um, so I don't know what's really worth and whatnot. So I don't know, really, like, kind of sucks because I don't know what to look for at the store. Like everybody else I see posting, they're like, oh, uh, no new cases yet or anything. I don't really know any much about that, but I think I'll just learn over time. But the first Hot Wheels we got is the, the 24 Hours, spelled with an O. It's pretty cool. Um, found this one in the back of behind all the cars and uh, it looked like it was pretty decent. I didn't even look at it that much. I kind of just threw it in my cart, which is kind of cool. Oh, I like this. This is, feels like an indie car. It's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and get the zoom in on it. Nice three on the side. It's a really cool like concept of like the bodywork. It seems like what you'd see on like a concept car. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right, the next one I got is the Aston Martin 1963 DB5, and I actually got two of these, so one of these will be probably in the dealership ID I had. So let's go ahead and crack one of them open up. I'll leave the other one in the packaging. So I know some people collect cars. Um, oh crap, this is gonna be a rough one. Oh, there we go. Some people collect cars in the actual packaging, but some of them don't like to, so if I'm going to sell it or give them away, I usually just keep them in the packaging. This is actually really nice. It's like, reminds me of James Bond. I actually really like this. I didn't think I was going to like that much in the store, but uh, yeah, I actually really like this. Pretty cool looking. Although I think James Bond, James Bond used a car with like guns on the hood of it, so it's not quite like a James Bond, but it's pretty close. So yep, yeah, that is the Aston Martin. Next one I got is the Ford Shelby GR1 Concept. I've never even heard of this before, but it's pretty cool, so I picked it up. And some cars I had to get, I just picked up because there wasn't a whole lot of cool ones, but um... It was, you know, buy three, get one free, so I had to get some extra free ones. Whoa, this is, this car is gonna go fast, I think. This is, a uh, wow. Don't know how to explain it. You know when you just take a car and you feel it's gonna be fast? That's what I think this is gonna be. Go ahead and get a zoom in on it. Oh yeah. That Ford logo on the front. Looking sweet, the black pinstripe. The back's a little different. I'm not big on the back, but if you look at it from the front, that's that's a great one right there. All right, so yep, that is the Concept 4 GT. We're getting close to the end here. The next one I got is the 1968 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S, number 20. Going to open that one. This is a sweet one. For anybody that likes classic cars, this is definitely one I'm sure you'll be interested in. And I love the accent on the rims, like how it accents that brown. It's behind the 26 there. It is sweet. All right, next up is the Torque Twister. My mom actually picked this one up because I told them we're gonna be racing tonight. So they picked out a couple, my parents picked out a couple cars so they could hopefully win, but we all know they're not going to. <laughs> No, but, oh, this is actually pretty cool. That front is kind of different. I like that. Not big on the yellow, like, fake thing right there, but uh, it's actually not a bad looking car. It looks like a futuristic, just like, uh, family car. I like it. It's kind of cool. Good choice, man. All right, and this is a 1969 Dodge Charger 500. And, uh... The only thing I don't like about the Dodge uh, Charger, sorry. Well, I mean, I love Dodge Charger. That's another car I like to collect is the uh, newer Dodge Chargers, not the old ones, though. Is they always, Cotwheels doesn't do a super great job of the stripe. 
there's always that little cut off there but you know it's a little minor detail I'm not gonna complain about it this is a sweet one another classic car I think that's what I have most of is classic cars which I am not gonna complain because I love me some classics all right, next I got the Ferrari 599 GTB F. Well, I'm not even gonna pronounce it. It's some kind of word, but I'm not gonna say it. Like French or something. But yeah, it's uh, another Ferrari. Got quite a bit of Ferraris today. Oh man, I hate when I do that. Look at me, I can't even open a car package. There we go. All right, and up another Ferrari. Yeah, see, once again, I'm not big on the bag of that. It just doesn't look that good. Like the front of some of these cars are super nice, but it's just not big on the back. All right, so that's the Ferrari. Next up, we've got the Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR, Speed Hunters Edition. This is another one my mom picked out, actually. I didn't even notice this one. Pretty sweet. Dodge Vipers just look mean from the front. I'm really curious to see if any of these cars are going to make it into the top uh, top 10 for the track outlaws. They got to beat some of our other cars though. All right, next we got the Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. Um, we got a lot of Porsches today too. Whoa, I don't think I've ever had a package like that come perfectly clean. That was nice. This is a nice Porsche, a little classic. Got a nice little body kit on the rims there. And of course, the classic old school Porsche fin. Looks pretty sweet. All right, and next up, I got the Nerve Hammer. I grabbed this one the last second before I was leaving the store. I was like, you know what? That car looks fast, so we grabbed it. It was buy one, buy get three. Buy the can't talk. Buy three get one free. So what the heck? It was free. Um, it just looks fast. I don't know. I'm not big on fantasy cars, but I just in the package it looked fast. Maybe it was just the contrast of the neon green and white and blue. Pretty cool co color selection. I like it. All right. Next, I got one. My dad picked up this one. The 2010 Ford Shelby GT500. Now, he is a Mustang guy, which is part of the reason why he's so happy the Shelby GT500 modified made it into our first Track Outlaws uh, championship event. So... Which, by the way, we got eight of those left still. So, once we get those eight in, we're going to have ourselves a championship round where you guys can vote. And maybe we'll do a giveaway. Maybe that'll be our first giveaway. I like this one, too. It has uh, got the K&N sponsor on there. So looks really sweet. Almost looks like one of those, uh, like an actual racing Mustang. But, you know, it's not all pimped out and stuff. It looks like a street car, but a racing version of it. Which is really cool. All right, next we've got the Turbo Turret. This was the other random car I grabbed it really fast off the shelf before we left. This, the orange caught my eye. It was in the very back of all the cars and the neon orange caught my eye, so I just grabbed it. It's kind of cool, it looks like a little little tank. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hybrid tank, that's what we call them. <laughs> all right, we got two more Hot Wheels. Next we got the Mazda RX-7. Now we have the red version of this. My mom picked up this one, she wanted the yellow. I said, what the heck? Let's get it. So, yep, yeah, that is the Mazda RX-7. Same exact one as the other one, just yellow. So, yeah, there's that. And then I got this from my friend Lee. He loves Subarus. My mom's going to re-race for him, though. It's a Subaru Impreza WRX. It, it looks like the rally car edition. Although, Subaru is a rally car in general, so I mean, it's like, not really a special edition, I would say. <clears throat> Yep, that is the Subaru WRX. A lot of decals on that. It's pretty cool. Although there's kind of a flaw right there. There's a line right through that. But it's okay. I don't really notice it. I love the white rims. Those are sweet. That's one thing I love about Subaru. All right, that was all of the Hot Wheels that I got. Well, I lied, actually, because... Hang on, I got these three hiding around the corner. I'm also got some semis now obviously trucks aren't gonna race down the track, but um, I was thinking of making a cool 
not just racing, I want to add some fun for you guys. I'm going to add maybe some scenes where maybe uh, if a car crashes, you know, oh no, we got the ambulance here and, you know, get some tow trucks and stuff. You know, just have some fun with some of the videos. They don't always all have to be serious. So what I did is I got some semis. I got three of these things. Now, I'm not just going to get Hot Wheels ones. I'm going to get some actual scale 164 semis too. But if you guys follow my Instagram channel at um, uh, Track Outlaws, you guys are going to get first looks at some of the um, hints, I guess you could say, coming to the channel. Like, for instance, um, one thing I'm going to do, actually, I'm not even going to tell you. If you guys check it out, I'm going to have it posted probably tonight. Um, so, yeah, be sure to be looking for that because I got a surprise coming. But this is the Rumble Road Edition. It's got a really cool off-road um, back there. I'm not going to open these ones quite yet because I'm not going to be using them. But uh, And it comes with a off-roading car, which might actually fit on the track, it looks like. So, it's kind of cool. The next one I got is the Rock and Race one. I'm not big on the trailer because it's like a ramp. I don't know how the car would really stay on there that well. And it's got I'm not I don't like that car either. I don't know. It's I have one of those already. And I just don't really like it. It's fast though. And then you got like a dragster looking truck. So that's the second one. And the third one I love the color. Of this is the Driving Wild. It's a really cool teal. Teal is probably like my favorite color. And I love the trailer. Most realistic like racing trailer. And it's got the uh, I like a little dragster. So it's not too bad. I think we have one of those already. It's blue though. So yeah, be watching on Instagram later tonight. We're gonna have that post, or if, depending on when this video gets uploaded, um, you'll just be sure to check Instagram. You'll see. All right, we got four cars left, and we are done. And we're gonna get to some racing. Not in this video though. In the later video. So I grabbed two Matchbox cars. I got the Ford Police Interceptor. It is the Marshall. Um, I thought it was kind of cool because you know, um, usually the top cars that you see are not. Um, Marshals, it's usually sheriffs or you know certain town police, so it's kind of cool. Never seen a Marshall one before. It's got the uh, front bumper there, and then the clear lights. Got interceptor written on the back. It's kind of cool. And the other matchbox I got is the Ford F-150 SVT Raptor. This is a mean truck. Um, let's go ahead and get it open. Oh yeah, sweet. Got Ford written in the grill there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. Kind of hard to. And of course, got the tire in the back. So yeah, it's kind of sweet. I just kind of grabbed those two when I they were on the front of it. So I'm like, oh, those look cool. All right, and the very last two cars. I'm not gonna crack these open right now because green lights are really hard to open. You kind of need scissors, but. I got a green light uh, Hot Pursuit Serve and Protect 2012 Dodge Charger. I was planning on just getting Hot Wheels and Matchbox today, but uh, like I said, I love supercars and Dodge Chargers, so anytime I can get any of them, I try to. So yeah, this is a sweet police Dodge Charger. And I'm really curious because this is a green light, like I said, and I have the Fast Five Police one, so I want to do a race um, of just those Chargers because this next one here is a Country Roads 2012 Dodge Charger, so they're all the same Charger different paint jobs. I want to see maybe which one's the fastest. All right. Well then, that my friends is the haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I thank you for watching these videos. I'm going to of course get some more cars soon and we're going to put all these cars in open race day number 3 coming soon later this week. And then uh yeah, we're going to be set. Hopefully these cars are fast enough to get into the race. And of course we're going to put in some of our older cars as well. And uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. So thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.